Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Wild North Addiction. If you don't already know, Wild North Addiction is full of bust ups and no plan. And my name is William. On this episode, we're uh, we've actually had an absolute cock up of a day. So the plan was we were going to go up the harbour, set the mullet net, and then I was going to go to Carry Carry and fish off the rocks. But total change, total change of plan. We actually went up the harbour, me and my old lady, and um, we had a full buster with the audio because it's blowing about 20 knots. And we caught no mullet, we got three stingrays, and it just ended in the cluster of all cluster. So, here we are, we're back at home, obviously, and we're going to be taking the motorbike again. About 15, 20 kilometres up, up north, which is a bit of a mission for the old girl. Old egg. Honda Egg 200 but um, we're going to be taking it up north going down a little track and I'm just going to be fishing off the rocks from there so I've got one fresh mullet because that's how the day went and bought heaps of burley kawai in the freezer hopefully we'll catch some kawai and uh, yeah that's the plan so hopefully this goes it's Tuesday afternoon and I'm running out of time because it takes about 6 hours for the video to upload because we're in the far north and it is a bust up but anyway no mark around let's go so the rod and reel we're taking is a Daiwa free swimmer 10,000 on the ocean exhala rod and that's actually the big dog rod for uh, rock fishing so as you can see mate this is winching and big dog ours so and this is actually a two-piece, so it's perfect to chuck it on the old motorbike. Right, change the plan. We're not chucking the rod on the Jaff backpack. We're, uh, we're sliding it in there. And this was our effort from mulleting this morning. And we've got a car white too. Straight in the bag. Good to go. Right, let's put this on the back and we out of here. Yeah, boy. Right, we are good to go. Got my gun boots on. That's full of bait. Got the motorbike, free swimmer. Jimmied up in here. Should be right. Rubber bands, the usual. Um, so we will see you going up the driveway. How beautiful is that? Look how clean the water is. What do you think, big dog? Oh, it's fantastic. Beautiful day down here. Chill. Bloody nice, oh. right? Bloody good. How bloody cool. Just got the motorbike up there. And we're going fishing. I'm not going to point where we're going fishing. But we're going fishing and I've just realized that I have forgotten my um, burly rope so this means we've got to cut some flax and tie some flax together and tie it to the onion sack so that's the first mission well that's the first bust up actually but so yeah we need to get the knife out and chop some flax off right so I think with the flax is you never chop the middle one so we'll just chop some um, some outer ones off. I'm pretty sure that's the old uh, ghetto. Something like that anyway. The old homemade burly rope.
like this. Now I'm no flat flex expert if you ask me. But we just split it like that and then tie it together. A couple back to back unis. Should do the job. Right, so we've just uh, weaved it through that onion sack there. And we're just gonna tie a bow line, just like that. Like I say, I'm no flax expert, but here we go, this is working. Bang. Yeah, it should do the damage. Right, come down here, lift the dog out. Yeah, that's what we're using just one uni knot back to back that's uh, like my 30 pound main line and then 80 pound trace that just goes down to one bkk j hook that's just uh i think it's called a snail knot onto that and then free swimmer and we are good to go chuck a big bit of bait on and well buff it down to the the Flax Burley Trail. This feels very weird. Look at it now. It's, uh, I'll give it a strike and see what happens. And then like nothing's there. But he's back. So there's been nothing happening, but there's a big squid on mum's bait. Just slowly wandered up mum. Don't know if you guys can see that. There's a squid just there. Look at mum. Look at that, big squid. Um, I don't quite know what to do here. Oh, let it go. Okay, this it back out. Oh no, it's coming back in. Oh, this day's not gone to plan, so I might go and, oh shit. I might go home and get the squid, squid rod. Let's let it loose. Oh, shit. Oh, mum's busting up. That squid's just there, I can still see it. Oh, look, now we're handlining. How loose is that, Mum? Oh, we can't say we can get to it. Oh, we're getting the weight to come. Oh, no, it's still there. I can see it. Okay, um... Hit squat. Now let it go. Oh, that's loose, guys. Oh, they're quite Right, so mum just had a flick with the rod and a bloody good squid come in. So we're catching nothing, obviously. And so we were like, ah oh, no, what am I gonna do for a video? But I think I'm gonna go home, get the squid rod. I've just got this new canal beast from Daiwa and it's bloody sick, got eight pound line on it. And um, bring a few squid jigs down here for the for the sunset. I think that could be quite cool because obviously we're not catching any snappers, it's way too clear. But we were sort of running out of things and we we're like, oh well, we'll just go and do rock fishing. But that's turned into a bust up, so squid. So we're just going to have a quick tidy up, shoot home, grab the rod, and then I'll see you back here on the rock. Right, we went home and got the light set from Daiwa. A little teddy black reel and teddy black uh, rod uh, trout master no it is a canal monster that's the rod so it's designed for trout I think but should do the same thing for squid and 12 pound leader with a little I don't even know what the squid jig is I want it in the squid comp but um 
yeah back at the same little posse so we'll just start flicking around hopefully we get a couple here I don't know a hell of a lot about squid, but I know you sort of just work it like a soft bait, sort of thing. Jerk it and then let, let it sink and give it a couple more. Pretty keen to catch one. How sick would that be? Trout in the far north. I mean, not trout, squid. Alright, so as most of you guys know, the uh, NZ Lure Masters is coming up. So that's this Friday, so it's today it's Tuesday, so Friday the 6th of October. So, since I'm not catching anything and this episode's been pretty boring, I'm going to leave you guys from a, with a little bit of footage from last year where uh, we got a few good snappers. Me and my mate Dan, who uh, used to do YouTube with me, but he's now moved on and he's doing his own thing. So we're gonna, I'm just going to leave you guys with a little bit of footage from then. And then we'll finish the episode there. So if you want to see a few big snappers, stick around, watch this little segment if you will. And then uh, we'll call the episodes. So I hope you guys like this little bit of uh, a few big snappers. Oh yeah, that's a real one. We're on to a flush now. This one's a good flush. entertainment for you guys since uh, this episode has not worked out the greatest it's been an absolute bust up of a week um, the weather has been crazy it's been raining it's been stormy but we've got to get a video out so here it is but that's just how it is that's how the weather works but um, I've got a little bit of news for for you guys that um, I am fully sponsored by Daiwa now. I'm no longer with Ocean Angler. It's been about seven years, so it's sad that I had to give it up. But now it's time to move on to bigger things. 
Darwas all around the world so it should be should be pretty bloody cool but just uh, like to thank Ocean Angler for everything they've done for me they've done a hell of a lot and if it wasn't for them I probably uh, wouldn't be doing this sort of stuff so big shout out to them um, but anyway if you like the video please like and subscribe and leave a comment and if you didn't like if you didn't like the video then uh, also leave a comment on what you didn't like that's probably mainly gonna be that I didn't catch any fish but that's just fishing but um oh well cheers guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on next week's episode let's go on the way home looking up some rubbish and then we got a ping pong ball go play, go play some ping pong yeah boy see you guys on the next video